the hospitals across the city and the metro area. And TGP 11's Erica Ferrando is live after speaking with the family of one of the victims this afternoon. Erica. Inside hospitals across central Arkansas, victims are fighting for their lives and working to recover. I spoke with the family of one of the 25 victims shot, and I spoke with one woman who was inside at the time. We pray that you continue to bless, oh God. This isn't the first prayer for this family Saturday fighting for the life of one of the victims. All day we pray. In critical condition, 19-year-old Dejana Mixon is one of 25 shot in Power Ultra Lounge. Critical condition on the ventilator, but I have faith in God and I know she will pull through. Her mother, Renee Dominic, says her family's support helps keep her faith strong. Whoever pick up guns, they have to think about what if it was your family member? God's going to heal this. He's going to make it better. Dejana's stepdad, James Dominic, says she's enlisted in the Army. Dejana is a loving, caring child. And uh, this uh, right here, she didn't deserve this. Before you knew it, we just heard gunshots about 15, 20 and we dug down on the floor. The sounds of these shots are still fresh for Kiana Bogan, who is recovering from a hurt foot. We heard another round of gunshots, and we were tumbling down the stairs trying to get out the door. She says before the shots, groups were arguing. Then... Everybody running and screaming and help me, and I can't find this person. It was sad and scary. Like, it's, I never thought I'd have to go through something like that. Those affected by this shooting the most say violence in the city has to stop. Tragedy thing that that happened and I, I pray for the people who who done it. Just hope God have mercy on them. Whatever type of gun that was should not have been in the club period point blank. There will be a prayer vigil tonight on the steps of City Hall. That's set for 815. Live in Little Rock, I'm Erica Ferrando, THV 11 News.